Can dry ice keep a CPU cool? In this video, we'll use a block of dry ice to see if this Ryzen processor will stay cool under load. Dry ice or frozen CO2 is used for a lot of things. At minus 109 degrees Fahrenheit, it can keep things quite cold and even burn the naked hand. Today, we're going to quickly show if ice can cool down this CPU while under max load. To start, we'll run Cinebench with our up here top flow cooler. After a run, we get max temps of 78.6 degrees Celsius. Now that we have a baseline, let's get this CPU naked and test it with some dry ice. We'll start with a small piece and put it on the CPU heat spreader. The metal screams in pain initially. The temp in Windows starts to drop immediately and reaches 8.8 .8 degrees Celsius at its lowest. We run Cinebench and for a second it looks good, but then the temps begin to climb and eventually settle around 95.8 degrees Celsius at the max. This is just below the TJ Max, so we're not thermal throttling yet, but we're as close as it gets. I then try a larger piece of ice, but the results were the same with temps blasting back to 95 to 96 degrees Celsius. I believe the heat dissipation isn't quick enough to keep this CPU from overheating. The dry ice just turns to a gas, and gas is not a good thermal conductor. Luckily, there's no condensation to deal with, just that CO2 gas. So that's it for this experiment. Dry ice will cool a CPU down, but will not keep it cool under full load. Thanks so much for watching my quick little video. Leave your comments down below and tap that like button. Thanks again, and I love you people.